Hey everybody, truck driver Sean here. We are in day three of NAM 2024. We are again at the Rough Booth, which I'd like to thank those guys, not only for letting me bring <laughs> a non-rough guitar into their cabinet, but for letting me come in here because they are using MLC cabs, which I here in the States do not have access to. And uh, they were kind enough to go, yeah, no problem at all. Goes to show you, not every company sees everybody as competition. You know? something to be said about that. Support the guys who support other guys, you know what I mean? They make amazing stuff. We will be using some rough guitars for these. I just, uh, today we are launching my new guitar, so it, uh, I gotta use it a little bit. So, massive thanks to Rough Guitars for being super fucking cool. This right here is kind of what everybody looks at for the MLC. This is a custom job with it. As you can tell, the rough guys went kinda hog crazy and actually painted this <laughs> the guitar it's a matching set uh, rumor has it if you make the right phone call and you get the right credit card you can own this set which is unbelievable see it in person is probably way better than see it on camera and picture but it's just incredible stuff but anyway this is the sub-zero hex all right this is a uh, kind of their big boy we gotta call it that they're Everything is in it, kitchen sink included. All right, so I got everything at noon time, so we're just gonna chomp her on. <laughs> That's with everything at noon time. No gate, no nothing. And the gate with this, it actually works really well. It, helps you turn the amp from kind of like this loose rock and roll feel to a very tight and percussive without really killing anything out of it. So we all know I like the gains. So we're gonna take the uh, the mids, add a little bit of those, a little bit of treble, because it is a little woofy. And we're gonna add the gain. Now when you turn your gain up on these, you see it gets into an area where you have three lines. But well, when you get into there, that is overdriven gain. Sort of like putting a overdrive pedal on your gain amp, but it's built physically right into the amp. So I'll take that, I don't know which channel I'm on, so I'm just putting them both in the same damn place. I'm hoping for the best, because I'm stupid. And uh, let's see what we get. <laughs> so you see she gets wider, real woofy. Now you can change <coughs> how it behaves by changing this. You call it a hex switch. gain on it that is just ridiculous <laughs> I am now out of the third zone I'm kind of at the tail end of the second zone and for me for what I play this just sounds great <laughs> just sounds fantastic now you it's very 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 thick so if you take that base and you take it down towards, everything's in sections by the way, you get like your first zone, your second zone, and your third zone. You take that base down and you get rid of a little bit of that, like woof. <laughs> so you see it gets really nice, you get that out of there. 
you go up into your your higher zones, a little bit of the highs, and even come back a little bit out of the bass. <laughs> three channels. You have your clean channel and you have your gain channel. Your gain channel does share controls except for how much gain you have and your master overall control. So if you want to truly set up a good solo or a good rhythm channel, you can do it. It's all in one. Of course, it's all lit up with super awesome green stuff. It just looks amazing. Um, and at the end of the day, this thing just it hits like a freight train. It's a really good amp. Crazy impressed with the MLC stuff. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna move on to another amp. And uh, gotta switch out guitars. All right, we are now hooked up to the Vogue, Vog signature. He plays in Decapitated and Machine Head. Shout out to Machine Head. This right here is basically an extension to the Sub-Zero, and they call it Sub-Zero 5. Uh, the Sub-Zero guys are not here, so we have no idea why. Uh, go to their website, it'll tell you. This right here is a little bit refined version of that, which makes sense if the guy's covering literally two different bands with two completely different sounds. All right, so here we go, let's, let's tank out. <laughs> Spikes. You swapped them up? Oh, they're not both hooked up? Uh, no, one of them is always hooked up to the cabinet. Oh, I thought you had both hooked up to the cabinet. Look at that. Making this guy feel like he has to work. 
But I, I can do it, dude. I have the technology. Oh, I have the technology. Okay. Yeah, it's it's <coughs> in our space. Yeah. Powell wants to do it. So we're going to take a little break while, while Powell plugs things into holes. He's going to pull it out and put it back in. All right. Be right back with you. All right. So now we're here with the Sub Zero. Looks like 93, I think, is what it says. Nine something, anyway. It is a Selenz. Selenz signature. He is with Dingu. Ding you, ding you burger. Dim you burger. Uh, again, if you get this one, the light is super awesome, but don't don't get all excited because you cannot get near the head of this because it will fuck you up. These are actually sharp. It uh, this is not a toy, folks. Um, if you if you want to get divorced but you don't want to pay for it, get your wife, your your current wife to come in and be like, what do you need? And boom! Oh, she had an accident. It'll do the job. Weapon. I'm not kidding you. It is sharp. I almost want to see if I can pay someone five bucks to slap it as hard as I can. I don't know if five bucks would be enough, but I, I'd tempt it. Not my fucking hand. All right. So again, I don't know much about these. I just know this. Uh, this apparently is uh, has two modes, one channel. By the looks of it over here, uh, everything is shared. As with the other ones, it has a gate built in, which is a really nice touch because their gate actually works. I know you get it so like, oh, I don't want a gate inside the amp because it messes with the amp. Their gate actually, this will be now the third one I've played through, is phenomenal. It just, it does the thing without interrupting anything. So, uh, yeah, let's just make some obnoxious noise. Yes, me. of the way up that's ridiculous it still has more gain I don't know you guys can get upset by crank the gain on this just to see what the gain will do if it's maxed out you're gonna get mad no I don't know, I don't know. do you know what it's gonna do have you ever done it uh, we have does it sound like it's absolute, absolute shit if it's cranked no I'll just do it we also have a second <laughs> channel on this one Oh, I thought it was one channel, but modes. No, no, no. Channel selection. So. Oh, it says modes. We got me confused. Okay, so it might be probably something to, to do with the second master, but... Yeah. I don't know, but we got the gain cranked. I'm sure this is going to squeal. It'll be a little weird, but I just got to do it because of how low the gain was when I was just playing. It's probably as much gain as I have in my high-gain amplifiers at home. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Holy crap, the noise gate's taking care of that? Thank you. 
can't believe the gates were that bad when they cranked like that. That is just ignorant. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> This thing is just a fucking game monster. Unbelievable. <laughs> this amp just scares me because it's dangerous, because you can get hurt. But I want one all of a sudden, just because of the amount of gain that's in it, and you can actually crank the gain and use it. This is a Selenz signature, Debbie Borga, MLC amps. Um, I still got two more of them trying so far. This is my favorite. It's simple. Granted, it's nice to have the lights and the knobs. Simple, and uh, sometimes you have to get rid of get rid of women in your life, and this will come in very handy because they always complain when you're in your music room. Bank. All right. Very cool. Not that we condone violence, we just understand. Okay. Yes, mate. I'm still learning. Pause, Kevin. Okay, everybody. We are now here with the Sub-Zero 100. This was their flagship Sub-Zero. Uh, it's got everything on it you could possibly want. And I'm not at home, so I don't have the time to break all of this craziness down because it is a lot of stuff, like a lot, a lot of stuff. So essentially, we've played the Sub-Zero Hex. We played the Sub-Zero 5, the Sub-Zero 93. This is the Sub-Zero 100. Again, the flagship. This has got all the bells and whistles. This is the one that you're, you're probably not going to find in the affordable range because it has everything in it. This is a, basically a studio musician's dream come true. It is phenomenal. Okay, so the gain stage is also just a little bit different than it is in all of these. That's what's really good. If you're someone who likes to collect a brand, I can say this now with pretty good certainty. They all have their own little bit of flavor. They're not exactly the same. They don't behave the same. Clearly, they turn it on and off the same, and I've literally screwed it up on every single one of them so far. Yesterday included, so I'm not a quick learner, apparently. And uh, enough of me talking. We, uh, we're on the third channel. We have the gain in the third zone and the drive in the third zone. Let's chuck.
could tell, all of these kind of have like their own little, their own little voices. This one here, very clear, very clean. Out note articulation is brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And that's without any of the switches turned on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do some open chugs like caveman, just chug, 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 chug. And I'm gonna flip some of these switches and show you that they're not tiny little subtle changes. You can actually hear what's going on when you're changing those. That's a big deal, especially if you're in a studio. If you're in a studio environment, sometimes you need like that little bit that's gonna cut through, or you're recording with somebody or for somebody that's doing a different style of music. Like This will do anything probably from blues, country, rock, metal. It does everything in one end. All right, so I'm gonna flip some switches. Flicky, flicky. gain into it but the gain's just stupid at this point it's way more you'd ever need if you need more gain than that um, I'm sure some guy that plays doom is just gonna come beat the living shit out of you because it's good way more than enough it's an obnoxious amount but if you want to use it all you can use it because they their noise gate without even being turned up halfway keeps everything nice and quiet as you can see I'm just sitting here it is quiet other than the other people messing with instruments, of course. But you do not hear no chuggy chug, you know? Look. No hiss. It's not even up halfway. No hiss. It is quiet. Same. It made a noise. Shame on me for touching the guitar. But it's super quiet. Can't beat it. We got one more to go. We're gonna do the Sub-Zero X, which I literally know nothing about, but I'm a little excited about the loudness thing because we're in a place where you're not allowed to play loud. This is gonna be fun. All right, so we're gonna pause it for a second. We're gonna get our crazy Polish friend over here to, you know, pull it out, put it back in. Just like I did to your mom last night. All right, be right back. How's it going, everybody? We are now looking at the Sub-Zero X, which is a really stripped down version of all of these. It's no frills, super easy to control. I got everything at noon time. Well, I had everything at noon time in my head, I guess. This works on a, a loudness system. It has loudest one, loudest two. Literally have no idea other than there's a mode one and two, and I think that's how it works. We're on mode two. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna have fun and see what we can dial in real quick with this. It has a low feature and a high feature. No idea what that does because it has a bright that's on and off. And right now it is on. But we're just going to tinker with this because it really won't take long to tinker because there's literally nothing to tinker with. All right, here we go. <laughs>
I'm just gonna go on on record saying there's no gate on this at all. And I am pushing a ridiculous amount of game to not have I'm sitting literally less than three feet, three feet from the cab. She's not making any noise. This is a quiet amp. Like crazy quiet. <laughs> child uh, ask if you can get it without spikes because those things are fucking sharp <laughs> like the legit sharp you can hurt yourself on this which makes it that much better because if it's gonna be evil it has to be painful it's a rule and you have the sub-zero 100 which is like their flagship big boy it's got everything under the sun and then you get the sub-zero X which is like really stripped down super simple but can still get you pretty much within reason Everything from like a really good blues tone right through to metal, like full on blasting metal. None of these are passers. I think if you're doing anything in the hard rock or the metal realm, any one of these amps will serve you so damn well. The versatility that's in each one of these amps is just ridiculous. And uh, I will say this, the amount of gain that's in, <laughs> in that slant signature is beyond ridiculous. Ridiculous. It, it's more gain than anybody would ever need in an amplifier. It's just ridiculous. And as a as a personal player, because I like shit ridiculous, that's the one that I would take. One, just to see how long it takes me to hurt myself on it. I had an amp that was covered in bed liner once and I literally had to go to the hospital and have my arm wrapped because I took skin off. I can only imagine what I'd do with that thing. But this would, this would be the amp that I would pick, just be, purely because it's just, oh my god, it's violent. It's just violent and it's simple. As y'all know, if you watch my channel, I'm not the smartest guy. I call shit wrong all the time. But all of these things, they're phenomenal. If I was to have any of them, I'd be happy. There's nothing I would be like, wow, I wish I had that. No, they all are fantastic amps. And no one's paying me to say that, by the way. They're just fantastic games. 
They're all very percussive, responsive. They're also to be dialed in to be very mobile. Um, I want to take a quick second again to thank the guys from Rough Guitars, not only for lending guitars, uh, but let me come in their booth and demo or highlight, I guess, the MLC stuff. These are also MLC cabs that I've been using. I have no idea what speakers are in them other than the round, like most speakers. But uh, yeah, very cool. Thanks again, everybody. Thank you to the Rough team. Y'all are awesome. It's the funnest booth at NAMM, by the way. If you come by NAMM, you gotta come by this place. Play some amazing guitars, and definitely try to film videos while people vacuum. It's awesome. This is the guy that apologized to me earlier in the video, by the way, for making noise. Who's now, who's now fucking vacuuming. Yeah. That's how we do what we do at NAMM, man. <laughs> Dude, you missed a spot. Catch you in the next video. Later.